Can we please talk there about you, what we actually there you go. Yes, but can we stick to what we actually both believe God to be? You, you're, we, we, you, no, no. Look, look. We, the look, look. You and I both agree that God is creator of all things, right? Yes. Good. So I believe that God is the creator of all things. There's no partner to him, right? Correct. Okay, cool. I say that about my statue. My statue is the creator of all things. But you don't my actually statute, believe wait, stop, that. Stop, stop. My statue is the creator of all things. My statute has no partner. Is that a law? No. So we're talking about two different things because Allah is defined in a specific way and he has a specific nature and characteristic while my statute does not fit that definition, right? Yes, I, I under, Avery, please give me one moment. I understand the argument you're making, but the reason it's fallacious is because the statue example is not what you actually as a Christian believe. You don't actually believe a, uh, a statue to hold Yo, how's it going? How are you doing? Pretty good. Scott, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm very well. Good, good. Long day at work. Long day at work? You just finished? Oh, yeah. Nice, 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 nice. For sure. What do you want to start off with us today? All right. <laughs> All right, Avery. Okay. <laughs> 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 all right Avery, listen Avery, listen i'm listening all right all right what do you mean by muslim why do you play these word games Avery? why do you play these fucking word games? What? Uh, language, language language excuse the language excuse the language i stuck for a lot um what do you mean by muslim why do you play these word games well you guys say he's a muslim so whatever you guys mean by it yeah, but you know what we mean when he says he's a Muslim. You know what we mean by that. What do you mean? We, uh, it's uh, it means that he submitted his will to God. Which God? You know what we mean? Which oh, for God? God's sake! Uh, oh, for uh, excuse me, blasphemy. No, you, it's, you, it's okay. You can, you can say, you can say for Allah's sake. Why do you keep doing this? Why do you keep doing this, Avery? You know what we mean by it? Because I, I want, I want, I want you guys to start thinking about what you actually say. Your issue is you you um which which guy you conflate you conflate the term Muslim with the theological foundations and uh, of Islam and the Quran and everything like that. Why why do you conflate it all together rather than understanding that it can be a, a term applied to historic prophets in time? It doesn't sure, have to sure. be. Let me let me let me ask. Okay, let me ask. Can someone be considered a Muslim and they go against the Islamic tenets, uh, you know, the the core doctrines of Islam? Can someone be a Muslim and go against the core doctrines of Islam? Openly go against them? No. Okay. So that's why. Because being a Muslim is intrinsically tied to islamic core doctrine and so if okay. you're outside of that you're not a muslim okay so prove okay so where does jesus christ go outside of that well you you have to show me that he's in line with it you have to show me that he in his beliefs and his teachings and, and his practices aligned with islamic doctrine that's what you have to show me that's why i say prove that he was a muslim yeah, well, I'm making the claim that according to our historiography, he is in line with According it. to your what? So now you can... I'm sorry. So our historiography. Our, our historiography. Historiography? Yeah, according to according to our source, he, the sources, he is in line with it. So now it's not a, it's not a problem of negation or a, a, a claim. You can now just uh, provide the opposite no, and no, say, no, no this no, is... A no, it's a claim. You're saying, according to my source, which is, I would assume, is the Quran, right? Of course. Right. So the Quran that I'm comes... Logic. I'm, that, I'm logic. I'm, okay, I'm logic okay, itself. Okay, fine. So according to the Quran that comes 600 years later, um, it makes a claim about Jesus, somebody who existed, you know, 600 years prior. So it's a claim on a historical figure. So what you have to do is you have to provide 
historical evidence that the claim that the Quran makes about Jesus is true. Okay, yeah. The, can you clarify for me, did the Pharisees um, seek Jesus' death according to Christian history because uh, he claimed to be the king of the Jews or because he claimed to be God? What does it have to do with my what we're talking about? Well, here's the thing, right? It would be a much bigger violation, uh, surely, if he was to claim to be, uh, uh, if he was claiming to be God, right? But well, what does that have to do with the question here? Well, your entire argument presupposes the fact that you know Jesus was claiming to be embodying God, which would go against the Islamic principles, right? I don't claim to, which is what we need to do. Well, I. I don't claim that he embodied God. I believe he is God, but and that he said that he was God. But my belief doesn't matter here. My, my belief doesn't matter. I'm asking for the evidence historically that Jesus believed, lined up with, and practiced Islam. Well, it, yeah, obviously we get into this problem, don't we? We have to use your sources. And that's the problem, isn't it? Is that the historic? That's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the only sources you'll trust. That's the only that's the only sources that's trustworthy. The only sources that are trustworthy on the life of Jesus are the, you know, I wouldn't say the only sources that are trustworthy per se. But I would say the primary sources that are trustworthy on the life of Jesus is the New Testament. It's, those are the historical sources that we use. Okay. Okay. So you expect me to believe? that uh, our understanding of Jesus being Muslim is incorrect because your early texts, your Bible, everything you have goes against Islamic fundamentals. Everything we, okay. everything we know about Jesus historically contradicts Islam. Okay, which Islamic fundamentals or being uh, aspects of being a Muslim does it contradict? Well, see, that you're trying to switch the question. What you have to show me is that Jesus lined up with the core doctrines of Islam and didn't contradict them. That's what you, that's what I'm asking for the proof of. And then when you show me okay. these, these evidences, we'll look at that and see if it holds. Okay. If I use your sources, is that a problem for you? It's, I think that that's what you should be using. So please, by, by all means. Okay. He states that he was sent by the, by, by God to conduct his will. Correct. Where, where does he say that? What's the what's the verse? Or um, he was sent down by the Father, correct? Sent by the Father. In John. That's right. He does say he was sent by the Father. Okay. Is Allah his Father? That's an aspect of prophethood. That's an aspect of following a singular entity called God. Is is all is Allah the is, the is Allah his Father? No. Is so that's a core doctrine that goes against Islam, right? We don't, yeah, it says explicitly that we do not call God the Father. Exactly. So then I'm, giving, can't I'm, giving, you, I'm giving you, I'm giving you the closest examples according to your sources. Well, of yeah. An instance of prophecy or prophethood in which a prophet is sent to spread a message and has been endowed with this message by a singular, all powerful entity. But, but notice this though. No, notice how the, the closest thing you can get to is something that contradicts the core doctrine of Islam that Allah is not a father and he has no children. Because I'm using your sources, Abraham. Yeah, so according to the sources that we have, it shows that Jesus is the opposite of a Muslim then, right? Yeah, your, your sources are objectively false, even not considering Islam. <laughs> okay, so you- by pure, by, by, by pure logic alone, uh, come on, you expect me to believe those Jews in that region, in the Middle East, all began to serve the rabbi and were willing to be put to death for the rabbi, a guy who was walking around claiming to be the son of God and literally God incarnate. I mean, come on, stop taking the piss, Avery. Come well, on. Well, I, I don't These think, I don't think that, were, Scott, you, Scott, you, I, gotta, I gotta stop you there, okay? The, none of this helps, okay? What we have seen so far that based on the evidence, based on the primary source, Jesus is not a Muslim because he says that he, God is his father, which goes 
directly against the core of Islam, Allah not being a father to anyone. I've already explained to you that this, like every one of the topics you debate, this is why you don't debate in earnest with all due respect. This is why I don't you debate what? Talk, you don't debate in earnest with sincerity. Oh, and, because and all sincerity? the topics, hmm. Because all the topics you pick are ones where the, the fundamentals of the topic are so dichotic between the two faiths that there is no but, but there's no synergy or so let's so there. let's so let's debate because let's debate in earnest together let's debate honestly and in earnest together Shh, give me no, give give me yeah. the proof give me a reliable source okay historically that demonstrates that jesus indeed lined up with core islamic doctrine you want me to use your biblical sources to prove that Jesus was a Muslim? Use whatever is historically reliable, man. Historically reliable on the life of Jesus, where we get information about Jesus. Use that to show me that Jesus was a Muslim. <laughs> the, the only historical records of Jesus Christ come from either the Bible or second-hand accounts from uh, Roman uh, and uh, otherwise historians from that era say that, around, say, a century, say, around, 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 around a century. Say that, say that one more time. Where, and then, so, and then, wait, and then secondary, wait, wait, dude. And then your, your, your sound, your sound started a little distorted. You said the only, the only sources we have in the life of Jesus is what again? What was the first thing you mentioned? From the from the from the first two centuries. The sources that we have are the New Testament mm. and and the and the secondhand histor historian accounts mm. um, from from the likes of Tacitus, Josephus, etc., mm. which again are only recorded several centuries afterwards. But yeah, those are the first two century accounts. Nice. And then the other are, are the ones that we have in Islam, which is the Quran. All right. Which, so the oh, so the are, so the historical are, sources. Which are, I, by the hold on, hold on, hold on, Scott, way, Scott, Scott, you're cooking right now, man. You're doing good. So the source, the historical sources that we have on the life of Jesus are one is number one, the New Testament documents. That's the earliest that we have. Secondly, are the secondary sources by, you know, Roman historians, you know, Josephus, Tacitus, Pliny the Younger, other people like this. And then thirdly, you know, you just have like becomes like hundreds of years after that would be, which would be islamic sources the quran right which uh, by the way your your um inability to accept the quranic source uh, as valid i find to be um not entirely objectively reasonable because let me tell you, can i tell you why and i'm not speaking here even from an islamic perspective I'm you are though here just from a national you're perspective. speaking from no, an no, islamic no, 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 perspective I, scott no 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 it's actually not reasonable because it was recited in the latter half of the sixth and early half of the seventh century. And there were Christians in that time who had been following through oral tradition for centuries, the original Christianic belief. So to say that these are not legitimate source, uh, legitimate sources is quite ridiculous. To be honest wait, 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 stop. You're saying that Christians in seventh century Arabia had true Christianity, and they had sources where they had true Christianity, um, and you're saying that I'm denying those sources that they had? Well, you're denying that uh, a document in the 7th century can be valid. No, I'm not. Is what you're denying. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You did, you did say that earlier. No, you Scott, said earlier. Scott, let me be clear. Let me be clear, okay? Let me be clear. I am not saying that a 7th century document is automatically invalid. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that a seventh century document is not the authority on the historicity of something that came 700 years prior when you have evidence to the contrary. That's earlier, that's uh, vastly attested, you know, independent sources. So when you have, you already have things that are early, um, have multiple attestation, independent sources, they already passed the historic criteria. So a seventh century document, it can be valid as long as it lines up with the historical sources that come before. If it contradicts them, then it is something that is ahistorical, meaning it goes against history. Did Jesus submit his will to God? Which God? What, what you call God the Father? God the Father? Yes, he submitted to his Father. And is the definition of a Muslim one who submits his will to God? 
to Allah specifically of the Quran who's not a father. Now you're now you're placing an extra uh, differentiator, which is to claim that our God and your God are different, well, which well, we both know is not the case. Well, we're using logic, right? You said we got to use logic, so let's use it. We got to use your logic, logic. If okay, if Allah okay, says, like okay. for example, look, look, look. If I say I'm a Muslim, um, and the God that I submit to is my statue, is that Allah? Is the God that I'm serving Allah? Of course not, and we both, and, but of course not. No, I hope you're not a Catholic and you believe that's okay. Okay, no slander in the Catholics, please. So look, so even though I say that I'm worshiping God, I'm submitting to God as a Muslim, but the God that I'm talking about uh, is a statute I have in my closet, you said, no, that's not Allah. Why? Why is the statute that I'm talking about that I call God, that I say is the one creator of the universe, why are you saying that that's not Allah? It goes against the Ten Commandments. Where? Thou shalt not make graven images. But wait, hold on, hold on a second. If you're talking about the Ten Commandments, that has nothing to do with Allah. That's Yahweh. I'm talking about Allah. It doesn't matter. We why, follow that principle you, in Islam. No, you don't. Why do you say that the statue yes, that I'm worshiping, that I'm submitting to, and I call God, the one God who created all things, that that is not Allah? So hang on a second. Are you saying now that what you define as I need God? You, I need you to answer my question, or, my brother. So apologies. Repeat the question. How? Why are you saying that the statute that I'm worshiping, that I say is the one God who I submit to, why do you say that that's not a law? That's not how we define a law. Very good. So because you define a law in a specific way, anything that goes out of that definition is not a law, right? Correct. Good. So when you define Allah, is father one of the ways that you define Allah? No. Very good. So if Jesus is praying to his God, who he says is his father, that's not how you define Allah. So therefore, he's not talking about Allah. That's not Allah who he's submitting to. Yes. Yes. But you've conflated two things. So what, your words? I conflated your words together. Huh? It's not that it's not that in this instance it is a separate it is a separate identifier or entity. It's simply a matter of a confusion oh. on your on your. Side. Okay, so when I'm worshiping my statue, we'll go back to this again. I'm worshiping and submitting like, to my statue. Example, let, let, me like, this. Hang, hang on, I, let me lend this. Hang on a second. Let me, I, I, let me, I, I, let me lend this, man. This is perfect. If I submit mm -hmm. to my statue, right? This idol, this statue that I say is God who created all things. It's not really that it's not Allah. It's just that I'm confused about Allah. Is that right? Yes. So the statute is, I, I am referring, I, it is Allah, wait, wait, but I'm just. Wait wait, 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 no, not the statue. Let me give you a better example. What do you mean better? Let's this say, let, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me give you a better example. This is perfect. Let's say, let, 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 let's say you and I are standing in a field and there's a single tree in the field. Okay. And I point to this tree and I say, this is Zaza. And you point to the tree and say, this is blah, blah. And I say, you and I are both pointing to Zaza. And you say, no, we're both pointing to blah, blah. We're both pointing at the same thing. We're just calling it different things. Nice. Okay. So you call God the father, which you're mistaken about. It's actually called Zaza. Okay. Okay. And we don't call it father. We're talking about the same thing. Right. And if I identify uh, Allah, if I identify Allah as so, the statue, wait, excuse me. If I identify Allah as my statue, are we talking about the same thing? No, because we're not pointing at the, we're not talking about the same top, uh, topic, right? We are. We're talking about God. I'm saying God is the statue. Are we talking about the same thing? You believe God is a statue? In this example. And are we talking about the same thing? No, 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 no. Scott, no. Scott, please keep up, man. I want to. I want to keep you here. So keep I am up. keeping up with you, but the All example right. you're using is is fallacious. I'm showing you why it's, it's fallacious. You're not showing me why it's fallacious. I I went. I went exactly with what you're saying. So if I'm referring to my statute as God, you're say, you're referring to something as God that's invisible. It's not a statue. I'm referring to my physical statute as God. Are we referring to the same thing? Well, let's. But no. But can we please talk there about you, what we actually? 
Yes, but can we stick to what we actually both believe God to be? You, you're, Maybe we, you, ra- no, no. Ra- 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 look, look, ra- ra- we, look, 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 you and I both agree that God is creator of all things, right? Yes. Good. So I believe that God is the creator of all things. There's no partner to him, right? Correct. Okay, cool. I say that about my statue. My statue is the creator of all things. But you don't my actually statute, believe wait, stop, that. Stop, stop. My statute is the creator of all things. My statute has no partner. Is that a law? No. So we're talking about two different things because Allah is defined in a specific way and he has a specific nature and characteristic while my statute does not fit that definition, right? Yes. I, I under, Avery, please give me one moment. I understand the argument you're making, but the reason it's fallacious is because the statue example is not what you actually, as a Christian, believe. You don't actually believe a, uh, a statue to hold these. We're not attributes. talking about Christians. Well, We're talking about your definition no, no, of Muslim. I, I that has nothing to do with me being a Christian. I, I understand. I understand what you're attempting to do, but it's fallacious. You're still not telling me I was fallacious. What would, you, what, what, what would be? What would I'm explaining it to you? What would be better here is if we both establish what we believe God to be. We already did that. We uh, already did that. So if I already, okay. I already gave, oh, stop, 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 stop. Because you running from this example doesn't help you. You see the problem. You see really the problem. Don't come the point Scott, don't cut me off right now, please. So if you say that you see the point that I'm making, then you see the problem. Stop saying, "Oh, well, we're you know, let's actually talk to you as a Christian. You don't believe the Christ- a statute is a is is a law. It doesn't matter if I'm a Christian, if I'm a pagan idolater. It doesn't matter if my definition of God, if my concept of God, does not match the definition of Allah in Islam." then I'm not talking about Allah. Does that make sense? Of course. Okay. Does, uh, not, does, the defini- does the definition of Allah fit father? Yes or no? Not father, no. So then if I'm saying that the God that I submit to is my father, am I talking about Allah? You have a mistaken understanding of Allah. Am I talking about Allah? Allah? It's a yes or no. We could be talking about the same thing, but you have a mistaken def- uh, attribute, right. which is so, the father attribute. So, so, I can, so again, if I'm with the statue, I can just be mistaking about Allah by attributing him to a statue. I am, I'm talking about Allah, but you know, I'm, I'm just wrong that he's a statue. Is that correct? If you, if, you, if, you, if you hold all other attributes, except uh, you were to point to a statue, you'd be mistaken about saying he has some kind of physical capacity or you can, you can be measured as a statue yeah got it so just to be clear if i say but, that my statue things, hold on if i say that my but, statue but, is but the creator of all second. things is the maker of but, all things has no partner uh, uh, i'm still talking about allah but i'm just wrong to attribute him to being a statue i'm still talking about Allah. but sir certain attributes are different to others so for example if you describe something as if you uh, father is a descriptive word, um, it's an identity. Yeah, it's an identity. So it's not the same as saying something is a statue. For it instance. is the same. One is it's, it's, it's the same. Let me tell you why. It's the same because, like you said earlier, we don't define a law that way. So that's not a law. So it matters. Do you define Allah as father? No. So if you're saying that God is father, it's not a law. It's that Hang simple. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I gave you the example of the tree. Let me give you another example because you didn't understand my example. No, I understood. Thing. I understood your example. If I, if I, I, if, I, no. if, I if I, if I, if Scott, I, Scott, mean... Scott, Scott, I understand your example. For example, I know you as Scott. Um, your mom knows you as son. So if she says my son is on TikTok, and I say Scott's on TikTok, we're talking about the same person, just referring to you as a different, different name, different title. Same person though, right? Boom. Okay. Correct. So I understand. I, tr- trust me, I understand your example. And hopefully it sounds like you understood mine, but you don't want to conclude with what the problem is. You cannot say that if I'm saying that a statute is God, that I'm talking about a law. You, was, you said that, yeah, that's not a law in the beginning, but now you're struggling now to say that, oh, well, you know, either it's not a law outright or that I'm just wrong about a law. So which one is it? If when I'm saying that my statute is God, is, is that really a law that I'm talking about, but I'm just wrong about him? Or is this is, is this just not Allah at all? Which one is it? The issue is there's a fundamental theological issue here. Okay, you're looking for there to be a one to one, hundred percent, hundred percent 
relationship between the attributes you define in Christian text with the Islamic text. Which one is it? Which one is it? When I say that I submit to my statute who created all things, is that Allah? Or is it or am I just wrong about Allah? My my belief is that we both refer to the same being. However, on the attribute of the father, that is a mistake on, on, on your part. That's not what I asked you. When I say I submit to my statute, am I talking about Allah or am I just wrong about Allah? Uh, are you talking about Allah or are you wrong about Allah? Uh, no, you're wrong. You're, you're wrong. You're wrong. It's a different. Right. It's a different. It's, it's, a, it's a different. It's a different. It's a different scale rather than saying father. It's a different scale. All right. So let me because so let, so let me go with you. Let me go with you on this. You're, you're attributing you're you're attributing human qualities to God. Right. So we're just uh, so we're wrong. We're wrong about Allah when we say God is a statue. We're wrong about Allah. Okay. Cool. So now let's go with that. So if if we say that God is a father, then we're wrong about Allah. Right. Correct. We're wrong about God. We're wrong about Allah. Okay. So when Jesus said that God is his father, was he wrong about Allah? I don't believe he said that. You you quoted the Bible. Was he wrong about Allah in the Bible? Yeah. This is the problem we come into, Avery. This is the problem we, we face. It's the problem okay. we face. Got it. So Jesus was wrong about Allah. Is that correct? Uh, I don't believe Jesus was wrong about anything personally, except... Then, uh, then Allah then, is his father then. But but I don't believe he said uh, he was his father either. Okay, how did Jesus pray? Tell me. What do you think? There is no single instance where it elucidates very clearly how Jesus prayed in detail in the biblical text. Really? He said, "Please, it, please, please." You said, "Please, it, please refer." You said in the you said in the, you said in the you said in the biblical text, "There's no detailed example of excuse me of how Jesus prayed." Yes, step by step. What about in the Quran? Is there a detailed explanation of how Jesus prayed? Besides, this obviously, we have, obviously we have Matthew, etc. But uh, I'm talking. Oh, about the so there, step so by there step. is an example of how Jesus prayed. Nice. How did he pray? Yeah, but you understand what I mean uh, when I say like a, a, a detailed step by step. You know, every motion, etc. How did he, how did he pray, man? That's all I want to know. How did he pray? Um. Uh, I think I believe he played. He prayed similarly to. Uh, well, there are multiple manners in which he prayed. Let me just, let me ask you this: uh, If you wanted to know how Jesus prayed, the, wait, wait, wait. Let me let, let, let me let me let me just prayed. ask you this, Scott. If you wanted to know how Jesus prayed, where would you go to find that out? Uh, what do you mean? You mean as a Muslim or as a Christian? As a Muslim, uh, we believe he prayed in accordance with how we've always prayed, which I believe is uh, accounted for in the in the Bible as well. But uh, again, in the Bible, it's there's multiple manners in which he prays. But the Scott, uh, Scott, stop talking. Stop. The, Scott, 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 the, Scott, the, Scott, stop talking, the, please. If you wanted to know how Jesus prayed, where would you go? Uh, as a what? As a Muslim or as a Christian? Period. You know what? Let's do it this way. As a Muslim, show me how Jesus prayed. Go ahead. What? As, a, to... as a Muslim, show me the reference that shows you how Jesus prayed. Um, I I don't recall in the Hadith of the Quran the exact reference to his ma 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 manner of praying. So you don't have this information in the Quran. Okay. So if you wanted to know how Jesus prayed, or the Hadith, if you wanted to know how Jesus prayed, where would you go? You don't have it in the Quran or Hadith, so where would you go? Um, I mean, uh, if you, if I wanted a Christian understanding of how we prayed, I would. I would look no, just it. just how would you? Where would you go? Period. If you just want to, you just man, you know what? I wonder how Jesus prayed. Peace be upon him. May his peace be upon me. I want to know how he prayed. Where would you go? What do you mean? I would look at the biblical text. There I you just, go. I just told you. you would go to the Bible, and when you go to the Bible and you see how Jesus prayed, how did he pray? I, I, like I said, I, I don't remember exactly, but I believe there are multiple manners in which he prayed. There are, like a you're word. right. There are multiple manners in how he prayed. You're absolutely right. And in each of these examples, however, there's one thing that's consistent. What do you think that is? 
the, the reference to the father? The reference to his father. So when we look historically, and the only source in all of humanity that we have on how Jesus prayed, we have the New Testament that tells us. And every time we see Jesus praying, the one who he's praying to is his father in heaven. So historically, is Jesus a Muslim? What? That's corrupted. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Scott. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Don't draw me this yet. I do. I got I, do, I got I got other guests, man. This I, I have other guests. Who cares about the other guests? I do, I do, man. I, look, next time I'll let you host. You can let up whoever you want, okay? Okay, sure. All right, why not? But by the way, <laughs> prove Jesus prove Jesus was a Christian and I'll give you ten thousand uh, dollars. Okay. All right, next time. All right, take care, Scott. Love you, brother. Take care, bye-bye. <sighs> All right, we got some uh, YouTube guests.